Dumbo. <laughs> I'll Dumbo. take Beast Boy. My brothers used to compare me to Dumbo. They used to call me Dumbo, so. They also used to call me Mowgli. You know what they used to call me? Uh, rubber Lips, but in Spanish, Bembe Goma. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that sound funnier? Right? Bembe Goma. It's fucked up. Like, <laughs> can you imagine me as a fucking what? kid? <laughs> like, I got these cute ass big lips, and like all the boys calling me Ben Bengoma. Ben <laughs> ben ben Making rubber me feel insecure about having big lips. It's like, so damn, like, you wanna kiss me? Is that why you fucking like jealous? Did they take like um like a piece of paper and like attach your lips and mm-hmm. kind of s- try to sling it? No. I used um, to do that to myself. <laughs> all of that was a joke. What? Yeah, okay. when I was in fourth grade, I used to do the whole thing where you lick the paper and put it on your lip. And I'll to see if it would rip my skin off, and it did. So like, give I yourself a self a paper cut. I bled a lot, like when I did it, like it was like completely torn. That's called self. There was like a big piece of my lip, like skin right there. That's literally called self inflicting a paper cut. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, no, I've actually self inflicted myself with a paper cut too. I mean, it's okay. Like I'm, one, I was one of those kids. I was like, really, that happens when you do that? Oh shit! <laughs> it's such a strange feeling. Like it doesn't hurt. No, but it stings like a motherfucker after. Well, yeah, it stings, but it doesn't hurt. Word. Go At least down. for me. Go lay down. Go lay down. She just stared at you with those big eyes. I know. But it's okay. It's because she sees us moving our hands a lot, and then she's always like, you want to play? That's potential for scratching. Oh, your hand is free? Come I'm gonna scooch my butt over here. <laughs> I, I think she didn't come over here because I would have felt compelled to like. Yeah, I know. Like, that's why. Yeah. Anyway, Perhaps I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, when we were kids, that's why we were talking about video games so much. Because when we were kids, that's literally like all we did all the time. Like, that and Yu Gi Oh! Play Soul Cal. Yeah, Soul Calibur and Yu Gi Oh! Mm-hmm. Like all the time. And I still have our Yu Gi Oh! cards. And we were actually talking about that the other day. Which my deck got wherever it went. It mixed in the pile, which I don't even fucking remember exactly what I had. I know I had spellcasters, but like Yeah, you're still spawning your sorcerer's deck. I know I know I still remember the makeup of your deck. I don't. I do. You had your mains were Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Magician Girl, uh Dark Red, uh Enchanter. Then you always had uh the three hats, mirror force. The three hats. Yeah, the one. Mystical hats. Yeah, mystical hats. Which, that was the one where you had to like flip a coin. Yeah, because your your strategy was always using spell cards, to either help you summon sorcerers or switch them around when not, when you were getting attacked. So that also tokens. Yeah, tokens and and you always had a balance of light and dark. It's got like sorcerers. Three. So that way you could summon your <laughs> sorcerer faster. I also <clears throat> don't get the um, ultimate cuties. Um, Princess Percu and um, the dark one. Uh, Ebon. Ebon, no. Yeah. Something with something E D. And no C B. Edumi, no Edon. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> I have these two cards. Where I would play Swords of Revealing Light, and for anyone who doesn't know what that is, Swords of Revealing Light is basically an opponent cannot attack me for three turns. I would have these two cards, complete opposite elements, dark and light. One, the light, gave me 300 life points for every monster on my side of the field. The dark version, my opponent loses 400 life points for, I think it was for all monsters on the, no, on your side of the field. Mm -hmm. And... It was fucking magic. It was fucking annoying. It was magic. Well, anyway, enough being dorks and nerds. We're not going to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! philosophy right now. Oh, Lord. But uh, it just goes to show we've known each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. Since 2010. 